we need to talk about Credit Suisse, one of the biggest banks in Switzerland. It seems like they are in deep trouble with a pile of scandals, legal battles and mounting laws. It's crazy, right? I mean, this bank was known for being discreet and reliable, and now all of a sudden they are in crisis mode. In this video, we will cover what went wrong, the last that shut swap and how bad the situation got. What's next for Credit Suisse? So let's dive into it. Credit Suisse failings are many, including allowing drug dealers to launder money in Bulgaria, being entailed in a Mozambique corruption case and the massive leak of client data to the media has made people lose faith in the bank. And because of this, many clients have left, leading to unprecedented outflows in late 2022. But what actually triggered the last storm was the US Security and Exchange Commission crying the bank's annual report, causing panic to spread. The situation got worse when the chairman of Credit Suisse's largest shareholder, Saudi National Bank, ruled out investing any more in the company that prompted Credit Suisse to ask the Swiss National Bank, the Swiss Central Bank actually, for a public statement of support. The cost of insuring banks' bonds against the default surged, indicating the probability of defaulting of 10%. Credit Suisse additional tier 1 bonds were also trading below 80% of face value, a level typically signaling distress. But Credit Suisse has this cool set way to stabilize the bank with with authorities, Bloomberg's News reported. The Swiss government has even floated the idea of acquiring a stake in the Credit Suisse as part of the capital increase if necessary. The Credit Suisse woes have added fuel to a border flight from risky asset classes. Wherever, it's unlikely that this will become another Lehman Brothers moment. Unlike Lehman, Credit Suisse has substantial liquid assets to call open and access to central bank lending facilities. It also has enough money like liquid assets to pay back half of its liabilities in deposits and loans from other banks. The firm's liquidity coverage ratio showed it can handle over a month of heavy outflows in a period of stress. Credit Suisse is going through a difficult time, but it's not all doom and gloom. The CEO has three year recovery plan that involved 9,000 job cuts, dismantling the investment bank Bethmold assembled on five decades and returning Credit Suisse to its origins. If you have interest in penny stock, watch the video that is right here, right now. And don't worry, we will keep you updated on any new deployment. Take care, see you very soon. Bye.